While I have a batch of water disinfecting in the sun, we're gonna take a look at what happens if you get muddy water. The water has to be clear enough for the sun's rays to penetrate all the way to the bottom of the container to kill the pathogens inside. So if your water is too cloudy, it won't work right using the SOTUS method. So let's get some muddy water, set up a simple filter, and hopefully the water will come out clear enough to disinfect using SOTUS. I'm deliberately gonna agitate this water a little bit, try to get some mud. All right, this water is definitely too cloudy. So we're gonna filter this and hopefully it'll come out clear enough to disinfect using SOTUS. So let's go back to the bamboo grove and make a filter. The first thing I can do is just let the sediment settle in the jar and then decant the cleanest water I can into the filter. So I'm just gonna set it down and let it stay still while I work on the filter. I took the longest, largest section of bamboo I could find and cut off the top, but left the joint in the bottom and then cut a hole in it so the water can drip through. What I'm gonna do is put some charcoal in this shirt sleeve and then stuff it inside this pole. But first I'm gonna take these chunks of charcoal I showed you how to make in a previous episode and I'm gonna put them in the sleeve and then pound it. I'm gonna tie off one end of the sleeve. This is just so I can withdraw the filter out of the pipe when I'm done. That's probably enough. When I start getting dust coming out of the cloth, I know I've got some powder in there. It's easiest to do it upside down. It's tricky getting it in there, but you just try different techniques. Be persistent. Whoops. Okay, finally got it in there. Now I wanna set up my jar to collect the water. So I need something to support the pipe and something to keep the bottle from turning over. You can see the water has cleared already some, carefully. This is gonna go pretty slow, especially at first. It takes a while for the filter to get saturated. It's a slow process. You have to, you know, you just have to be patient. Keep the water topped off in the pipe and get busy doing something else. One way to improve the system, I think, is to figure out some way to have a looser filter inside. If the filter's looser, the water will go through better, but still get sediments out caught in the fabric. The SOTUS method doesn't alter the flavor of the water. It'll be disinfected, but it's still gonna taste like pond water. So the charcoal is gonna help with that. Cameraman suggested this idea, so we're gonna give it a shot. I think it's a good idea. What he suggested was to Make a plug of cloth in the bottom. Put a bunch of charcoal in there and then put another plug of cloth on top to keep the charcoal from floating. This is the charcoal left over that I pounded yesterday. This one hadn't even started dripping yet. It's been 10 minutes. So 
So let's try this one. Okay, the first water that comes out is gonna have a lot of charcoal. I'm hoping that'll clear up. You know, the charcoal itself is harmless. You can actually eat the stuff, so that doesn't bother me. But if we're trying to make the water clear so we can make it suitable for solar disinfection, then I'm gonna have to get that charcoal out. I'll probably run it through a second time. It's definitely running faster. Well, this water is definitely too dark to be disinfected by solar disinfection because the light won't penetrate the water to kill the pathogens inside. So I'm gonna discard this and uh, hopefully the powdered charcoal has been rinsed out. And I'll run some more water through and see if it comes out clear enough. That looks a lot clearer. We're gonna stop this for now so we can compare the two. There's a little charcoal powder in the one that I filtered but it's a lot clearer than the water that came straight out of the pond. Obviously, the one that's been filtered is clear enough. This uh, pond water is way too cloudy. It's not gonna work for solar disinfection. So this filter system works. You can filter muddy water through a makeshift filter like the one I demonstrated and then get water that's clear enough for solar disinfection later. I'm gonna put that in a bottle now and set it out in the sun.